Hey guys, this is Mark from North 7 Outdoors. Welcome back to another episode. Today we're at Canabec Lake. Uh, so I went here earlier this year and I absolutely loved it. Uh, so I'm going to add this to the first time fishing series. And basically this is going to be like, was it a one-off that this lake was, was really good? Or what's the deal there? So, and also the first time I went this way. And today we're going this way under the bridge. So I'll be new water. So yeah. Uh... Canada Lake, I, you know, I thought it was an amazing lake the first time I was here. You know, one of those lakes where it's like you got to go back to it. But maybe I, it was just the right day, the right time of year. Maybe today's going to suck. I don't know. But uh, I've got some some pretty big expectations. You know, I got about three hours. Uh, and then I've got got to be on the road again. So I'm hoping for like 50 bass or something. So let's uh, let's get rigging up our rods here and start catching them. First bass of Canabec Lake. We'll call this guy a pound as we slowly work our way towards the Canabec Lake record here in three hours, because last time I forgot to uh, scale them. There we go, fish number one. Bam, it has been a grind. Sorry, see all that stuff on the camera lens. Uh, Last time I was here, I had like going the other way, I had 10 bass by now. It's only been like 15 20 minutes, but still, it's like holy, where are all the fish at? So, uh, <clears throat> fish number one, LOA at one pound. Little day so far. count this guy he's probably just at 11 inches number two Number three, We're getting smaller, but action's action. There we go, a little smaller. Mm -hmm. All righty, that guy should be just over a pound. Feisty, feisty largey. Yeah. All right, he should be at least a pound and a quarter. At least. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right, let's get our old scale ready. One, one, two, one. All right, he's just at a pound and a quarter. There we go. So two for two and a quarter. All righty. Fish number five and fish number three towards our limit. A little... 12, 13 inch, we'll call this guy a pound. There we go. It feels like a small mouth. Oh, 
as a pike. All right. We don't catch very many of these guys, but we're going by length. This guy is a friggin' slimy mess, I bet you. Supposed to be a gorgeous day today, but that wind is not very nice. It'll be nice when I switch over to the other side of the lake on the way home. That'll be nice. Oh, there we go. It feels good. Get out of there. You ain't that big. I hope you are though. Feels <laughs> like he's five pounds. I think he's had up weeds. Yeah. All right, number six for bass, and we're gonna count this guy as a little 12 incher, little 12 incher, one pounder, little large mills. Whew! Hey, winter's almost here. There we go. I don't think he's gonna help, but one more. Is he a rock? He's a bass. I'm sure they're not getting any more smallmouth. Alright. He's not going to help towards our limit, but that's number seven. There we go. Well, guys, I was hoping to uh, make it to the little, like, marsh area <clears throat> to my left here, but... Uh, I think I'm just gonna turn around now. It's been pretty slow, uh, all things considered. So I guess that's like the power of like the right day, right time, you know, right time of year, the right day, right weather pattern. Um, so a few things. Uh, so Canabec Lake, uh, the boat launch, uh, you know, as I've mentioned before, I believe is uh, room for like three vehicles. So it's not really a good lake for, you couldn't fish a tournament here or you couldn't, it's not a good like to show up at like I'm gonna show up at like 11 o'clock with my kids. It's like no, you ain't getting spot. It's a good like if you want to show up for like six, six thirty, you know, at the latest uh, to get a spot. Uh, so yeah, that's Canopic Lake. Uh, a lot slower, man. Fall is here. Whew. Fall is here. I just, you know, the other thing about Canabic Lake is it's uh, it's kind of like a, a giant river, really. And it's it's hard to get out of the wind on this lake. You almost have to go, like, where the wind's, like, starting from and just kind of go that side of the lake or, or something. Like, there's very few, like, coves and whatnot to get you out of the wind here. This side of the lake uh, looks a little bit better, but who knows? Uh, so yeah, that's part one of the second time around of Canbeck Lake. Uh, so we're at four bass for four and a quarter, and I think I caught seven or eight, and uh, a little, uh, about 24 inch uh, pike there. He is super long and super, super skinny. So uh, just making it across the lake here, and then I've got to kind of fight the wind on the way back, which sucks, so I guess I probably should give myself more time to get back since I'm working against the wind. So thank you guys for watching, and Canbeck Lake, a good lake to go to, you know, if you get to launch early, because there ain't a whole lot of parking lot uh, there, and there, and the wind kicks up pretty crazy too, so I don't even know if this is a great lake for like kayaking, because I'll tell you the wind's only supposed to be like 12 kilometers, so this is maybe 8, is that right? This is like 7 mile an hour wind maybe, and uh, it's choppy enough choppy enough. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching and take care.